BBC Radio 2 producer Lisa Ashton has taken a break from her normal day-by-day -day BBC duties and taken a sabbatical to help orphans in South Africa in aid of the Winnie uh, Mabasso Foundation. Lisa joins us in the studio now. Lisa, thanks for coming in. Thank you. So what is the Winnie Mabasso Foundation? Um, the Winnie Mabasso Foundation is a UK-based charity and um, we raise funds to help different projects in South Africa, particularly um, projects that um, work with children who are affected by HIV AIDS. Lovely. So how did you first get involved with it? Um, I first got involved with it back in 2004 um, when I went out to South Africa to make a documentary for the BBC. Um, and that documentary was, um, was celebrating South Africa being a democracy for 10 years. And the programme was about people who were making a difference in their townships. And Winnie Mabasso was one of the interviewees that we featured on that programme. And at the time, Winnie was almost single-handedly caring for AIDS orphans in her township. And whilst I was there, um, I noticed at the back, she lived in a very, very... Um, almost like a shanty house I suppose, very very run down yeah. property but at the back of her property piled from floor to ceiling were what looked like some bed mattresses and I asked her what the mattresses were there for and she said well at night the children come and sleep here because they need to be safe and I said well safe from what and why aren't they with their families and she said well they've lost their parents and a myth has begun circulating in the township that if a man had HIV AIDS and slept with a virgin he'd be cured so a lot of the children who'd already gone through the trauma of losing their parents to HIV AIDS were then being raped by men who were desperately trying to find a cure for themselves. And so Winnie said to me, I need your help. We need to raise money to have an orphanage that can provide a place of safety and security for these children. Um, so when I came back to the UK, um, I couldn't forget about Winnie. I couldn't forget about her request. And, uh, and so I started fundraising. And um, we were fortunate enough to raise the funds um, for Winnie and the children to move into an orphanage. Um, there was great celebrating when they all moved in. Um, but sadly, within three months of Winnie and the children moving in, Winnie very unexpectedly died. And um, I was then thrown into the deep end of making sure that her dream didn't die with her. And um, so it's been a very steep learning curve. I mean, I, I didn't know very much about running a charity. I certainly didn't know anything about South African culture. And to be honest, I didn't know an awful lot about HIV AIDS. So it's been a very steep learning curve for the last nine years now. And how <coughs> severe is the HIV virus in South Africa and what is currently being done to prevent it? OK, it's, it's, it's a massive issue, um, particularly in, in townships. Um, Education is getting better. There are lots of people now that are working with young people, advising them about HIV AIDS, how they can prevent it spreading. And obviously there's you know, the current news that's going on at the moment about um, how, how medication and, and drugs are being found to, um, well, there was the fantastic story two weeks ago about the, the, the newborn baby that was treated with the HIV um, vaccines and it appears has been cured. Which and again, amazing. on the, on the yeah. news this morning, again, you know, that, um, that, that there's been advancement in medication. So obviously that's very helpful. And it's just, it's, it is raising awareness constantly and looking at new ways of, of raising awareness that young people will take notice of. So what types of projects um, have the Winnie Mabasso um, Foundation started? Okay, well, we have two orphanages that we support in a, a small informal settlement called Fine Town. Um, we have uh, two feeding stations, one of which feeds 350 vulnerable children every single day, uh, another smaller one nearby. Um, we have a, a home care visit team and that home care visit team consists of about 60 volunteers who each day go out into the township and care for people um, who are dying from AIDS. And that's very practical. It's giving them clean um, bed clothes to wear. It's giving them soup. It's giving them bed baths um, just to make their lives as comfortable as possible for as long as they have left. And um, how is the Winnie Mabasso Foundation funded? OK, we're funded by individual um, donors. We raise lots of money through fundraising, um, annual team events and then individuals who sponsor individual children or who, who sponsor us on a, on a regular basis. And we've got a really exciting weekend coming up actually in June um, in Wales. We're running um, a camping weekend mm -hmm. um, and we're asking, we want it to be, uh, since I started the foundation I've always wanted it to have a team feel. So we have lots of these Team Mabasso events. And this is our next Team Mabasso event. And it will entail a sponsored walk on the Saturday, camping over the weekend, and a barbecue on the Saturday night with an open mic session and an old fashioned yeah. sports day with egg and spoon races. And so it would be an event for the whole family. 
and uh, hopefully we'll be able to encourage lots of people to come along to that and take part in our sponsored walk and help us raise some Definitely. more money. So how can our viewers at home um, you know, get involved then? Um, well, they can look at our website, www.winningwithbasso.org. And um, I mean, first and foremost, that camping weekend would be great if there's anybody that wants to come along and camp for the weekend. <laughs> Brilliant. That would. And, um, and I love camping. just have a look on our website because there's lots of ways um, that we want to rope people in to, to assist our work. Lovely. So uh, many of the orphans will be under four. So how are these <coughs> children provided for by the foundation? And to, it's like, you know, do they have any preschool classes or anything like that? We do have a, a, a preschool um, on the site. Um, and we've been lucky actually to secure some funding for that particular project from South African Social Services. Um, but yeah, I mean, to be honest, pre-education or preschool education isn't that popular in our particular township. Um, we've only got about 50 children that attend our preschool at the moment, but hopefully that can be that school that we run can be replicated um, throughout the, the township and indeed throughout townships nearby too. Now I heard you got an MBE, so how did you manage to get that? I did get an MBE in the New Year's Honours list. I'm still in shock about it actually. I've yet to go thank you. I've yet to go to the palace to collect my medal. But um, Really? Yes. So did you meet the Queen? And no, I haven't. I haven't been yet. Sorry. No. Okay, sorry. Yeah, sorry, no. the twenty-first of May, I'm going. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I feel very, very honoured and very <laughs> excited about that too. So. And how yeah. can people help the South African orphans and sponsor the Winnie Mabasso Foundation? Okay, um, so we, ha we do have sort of set projects like our camping weekend that people can get involved in. But also if there are people that want to set themselves an individual challenge, that would be marvellous, you know, to go off and do their own thing, either do a, a run or a, a skydive or an abseil and, uh, and, and help us in that way. That would be absolutely brilliant. The other thing we look for um, too is volunteers to actually come out to South Africa and uh, maybe on your course there might be somebody that wants to come out and, and help film or interview the children and make little packages for our website um, so <laughs> to raise the profile of the foundation. Excellent. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank, Thank you. you for having Thank me. You. Thank you.